Hello. Um, we start our new recording uh, on January 13, 2014, and I will give you a usual our usual 10 minute introduction because most of our viewers are new on YouTube, so so you need introduction. Um, we are speaking to aliens, to our friendly extraterrestrials through a channel, or Jim will channel today, we started a new channeling session, and uh, these are Pleiadians, Lyrans, uh, uh, Yael Greys, uh, we speak a little bit to Arcturians, and all together form an alliance called Gorkfitnir, and recently a new species uh, joined their alliance, new race. Uh, we also speak to an angel, we spoke to a fairy, we spoke very briefly to a reptilian, um, we spoke to Andromedans, it was very important, we spoke to uh, human hybrids in space, um, and the most important was a conversation with uh, ancient god, group spirit called El. Uh, e -L. Uh, El told us that uh, he, they are planning a big crisis in which half of the humanity will perish and they are planning it for 2027, year 2027, 13 years from now. And that's a sad news and we want to prevent that, that suffering or at least minimize it. And obviously there are ways to reduce it by by preparing to it. Basically the, the, the goal is not to kill people, the goal is to help us transform, to change our all our system, financial, political, governmental, all, the, all others. But you know that's that's the gods. Uh, the gods want that. Otherwise, our species will not survive. Um, what is our way of helping that? We speak to to our alien friends, and we wish them to give us knowledge, we wish to learn from them, we wish to, for humanity to open up to galactic community. And the easiest way for that is obviously for them to come down, but they are not ready, we are not ready. The humanity, if they come now, uh, come down now, the crisis will not happen in 2027, it will happen now, and the, human, uh, the humans will perish now. It's uh, Everybody knows that, that uh, our economy is very unstable, political system is very unstable. If the aliens show up now, what will happen? The humans will just realize that the aliens come here, they have technologies way stronger than ours. If they have technologies way stronger than ours, why do we need our military? We don't. And if we don't need our military, then um, we don't need to pay taxes and the whole balance system of selling oil, of Paying to governments of, of you know, a part of the globe producing things, other part of the globe, civilized world, producing information and kind of exchanging. All of that delicate balance will be broken and we'll have the, the crisis. And the crisis would be pretty tough. Now, um, so the aliens are delaying that, that announcement because they know we are not ready, they will be scared, uh, not, not personally, but the, the humanity will be scared and they need to prepare how to minimize the damage from that open contact. They need to come in invited. They, they, they want us to invite them. They want us to be prepared. So to help them, we propose that they take us up there and create a human colony in their motherships, on their planets. And they took our, advi our advice and it, they, they took over volunteers, they invited volunteers so far about 200 volunteers went up and down, visited them, and right now there are uh, over three colonies, four or five colonies up there to with total about 100 humans, volunteer humans who are helping, uh, who are developing the open, who are developing the contact up there, it's not open contact. Obviously we tell about it openly, but nobody knows about that. The humanity is not aware of that. Um, so we're in communication with these people only through channeling messages. We didn't speak to them directly. But when uh, we created a site, humancolony.org, humancolony.org, visit that site, and uh, on that site you can apply for a visit up there. And when people apply, several of us 
not me, but several of our people on the website have been visited very soon after applying, like next day or very soon after applying. So far, it's between five and eight people have been visited. Uh, they reported through the site that they have been visited and they had interviews. Uh, they take the aliens, take our friendly aliens from the alliance called Gorkfitnir, or Gorkfitnir. Uh, they take they take only about one percent of applicants, but it is already a, a nice beginning. So um, we have about two hundred applications. We have about two hundred members on our side. Join our side. Join the discussion, and let's together raise the awareness, raise the awakening. The humans have to understand the awaken to the truth, spiritual truth, and to uh, the higher dimensional truth. All the aliens we are speaking to are from the fourth dimension. We are third, they are fourth, they are, they have to go, to show up here, they have to go down in one dimension. So they use trans-dimensional technologies. Um, that is about the history. Uh, we are already half a year into that journey. Before that, we knew about this from other channels, but now we channel. We have we, we have uh, our own channel, Jim, and uh, where he invites good entities, and they come through and speak to me, and I interview them and record them on a video. That's our mission. It's important for us to spread the knowledge. So please um, share that video to others. Um, we invite the nations. We need money just to to keep going. For, for life. Um, we uh, would be happy to visit other groups. We're located in Rochester, New York, upstate New York, New United States, near Toronto. So we can drive around to Ottawa, Philadelphia, uh, other places nearby, maybe New York City. So if you invite us, we would be happy to come. Uh, and if you can get the money for the tickets, say if you assemble a group of people of 30 people for a two-day course seminar on healing and channeling and extraterrestrials, we'll be happy to come give a seminar. So you need to pay our tickets. So for example, one ticket to two-way ticket to Arizona is about $350. So, so if you assemble about seven, eight hundred dollars, we can we can go visit you. Uh, Jim gives the uh, individual channelers over video Skype, so you can sign up. He charges forty dollars per half an hour. Now, what we'll do now is I need healing. I have some 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 problems with um, infections in my in my gums, so I need that. So the uh, Jim will work on my uh, on my gums using Reiki, and while doing that, uh, somebody usually comes through. And I get uh, the, not only Jim's uh, healing energy, but extraterrestrials and and higher entities help help that healing. So I'm using that opportunity also to get healing. Also, you will see how extraterrestrials do Reiki. Reiki is a healing technique where you lay on hands on a person and send energy to heal. Jesus Christ did that. We don't know the exact technique how he did it, but we know one of his students put hands like this on the back back right here, you stand on the, behind the person, you put hands like that, and just invite the healing light in your heart and then let it let it go wherever it needed. So there, there is not much more sophistication other than being pure, inviting the, the energy and send, send it down. Um, so you will see the Reiki, so it will be very unusual for you maybe. So you will see the healing session of Reiki energy healing session combined with channeling. And when I lay down and uh, somebody from above speaks, it looks very natural, especially if it is a higher entity like, like a god or, or an angel. But then if we reverse, I will put my hands on Jim, it would be very funny, like we have a god speaking in lay, lay down prone position and I will be, will be healing, healing. But, but you know, it's just a channel, Jim is just a channel. There is part of his consciousness, part of his mind participating in that, they use his words, and sometimes they use the whole clusters of his uh, beliefs and uh, and analogies and bigger thoughts than just words. So I recognize when spe Jim spe when they use something, evoke something from Jim. I recognize that. But part of it is clearly coming outside of me and Jim. It's something very new to both of, both of us. So 
I, I'm absolutely confident it is real. It is. We are not waking it up. With all that said, uh, I will stop and you will see Jim doing Reiki on me. And if there is anything personal, I will wave my hand and then later I will see my hand on the screen. I will cut it out so in YouTube you will see only pieces which are for public and nothing personal will come out there. And on the website you can ask questions for next seminars, for next offline sessions, and I will ask those questions.